Hi there, this is Sari Wild, and I just wanted to share a quick um, story that demonstrated this concept for me um, just yesterday about um, how truly the soul and the body are the drivers of our life, and the mind is really just the passenger, and in most of human antiquity, um, and especially in our recent past, um, the mind has been fighting really hard to try to drive. And um, <laughs> it's just occurring to me that that's kind of like a desperate move. It's like what happens when something's about to heal, let go, or die, which are all the same thing. <laughs> um, so I was, um, I'm living right now out on um, this property in the middle of nowhere on some really crazy dirt roads and I just learned how to get around and um, I'm right in the middle on this mountain um, about an hour from the town of Laytonville on one side and about an hour from the town of Garberville on the other side. And so early on in my drive, there is a point where I have to turn right to go to Laytonville <laughs> and left to go to Garberville. <laughs> and so I'm setting out on my drive and I know like I want to do laundry and I want to get to a coffee shop with internet, which is super precious for me these days, um, and a charge <laughs> for my computer. Um, and I also just am wanting to be open to you know, the flow of what's going on for me right now, what I'm attracting for my highest and best. And, uh, yeah, the place and the people are really important for that. So my mind had it all figured out and was like, I am going to Garberville. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to Garberville and then maybe I'll drive to Arcata, which is actually what I'm doing today. Um, and so when I came to that junction to turn right or turn left, um, well, my mind went, yep, we're going to Garberville, and my body went, we're going to Laytonville. <laughs> um, slash Ukiah was what I later figured out, uh, which is another hour. But um, so it wasn't until I was well on my way, like I would say a solid 45 minutes um, on my way to the Laytonville side that... I realized that I was not, my mind realized I was not going to Garberville. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> my mind was like, oh, fuck. What do I do? And even considered for a, a hot second if I would turn around and go back, which is absurd, you know. So my mind had to dismiss that. And um, this is part of what I'm calling coyote medicine, hashtag coyote medicine. Hey, Estrella. <laughs> I'm not really looking at my phone since I'm driving, but... Um, so it can't be super interactive with the comments, but please feel free to comment and um, later I can, I can uh, comment back. Um, and yeah, feel, feel free to say, hey, I'll get the energetic hit even if I don't see you. Um, so yeah, coyote medicine, because see, coyote is the trickster, right? And so it's been really helpful for me to really get more into this process of letting my soul and my body drive and so this is literally drive right driving but also just like generally how we navigate our lives how we drive our lives um so coyote medicine tricked my mind into thinking that it was in control while my body just went ahead and did what was really oh how can i my mind said how can i still control this maybe i could turn back and then immediately dismiss it because that just didn't make sense. And my mind likes things to make sense, of course. And so I surrendered to it. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going here. Um, and had a really beautiful call with, um, you know, one of my clients on the side of the road. <laughs> um, you know, the side of this dirt road out in the middle of nature. It was beautiful. Um, cool, I still have reception. Um, but it wasn't until later, um, you know, so it unfolded for me. I was like, oh, maybe I'll go to Ukiah. Like, that felt really good because, you know, I, I just moved from Santa Rosa not too long ago, and I miss my peeps, and Ukiah is kind of close to there, and there's a yoga studio there with, you know, one of my favorite people and yoga teachers, um, Danielle Kelleher, who um, really was one of the huge inspirations for me to become a yoga teacher. And, you know, I hadn't planned anything, so I didn't expect to see her. 
Um, so anyway, I drive to Ukiah. I just take whatever exit. I'm, I decide I'm just going to kind of drive around because there's a possibility that I might, my guy and I might get a place to live in Ukiah. And so I was kind of checking it out and my body drives me right by Radiant Yoga, which is the studio where Danielle teaches. And I was like, okay, that's it. I pull over and I look up the schedule and I see that she is getting out of teaching a class right then. Like it had just ended and I am a block away from it. <laughs> so it's getting pretty magical, you know? So I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I go, um, I, I turn around, I pull into Radiant Yoga. I'm just like filled with purpose. And um, I go in there and Danielle's not out yet, but the owner's there, Bonnie, and um, who I love. And so she and I got to connect on a bunch of super relevant things going on for both of us. So more magic that, and that was totally unexpected. Um, and then Danielle comes out and we get to have a big hug and we just, we all, the three of us stand there and have this great talk. And, um, there's, you know, I see some different possibilities on the horizon from that. And it really like, just, there's something about like my soul just went, ah, oh, see, this is what I meant. Like, thank you. <laughs> and I'm so grateful for that coyote medicine to just distract my mind long enough so that my soul and my body could just drive, which is what they're meant to do. So, um, you know, and I, I've been, and this is something that, you know, through human design, I have come to understand, you know, in this way that the soul and the body are the driver and, you know, the mind is just a passenger. So if you like imagine, you know, if you're driving a car and you have a passenger in the back seat and they're trying to control everything about they like they can't actually do anything except for distract you <laughs> if they're like wait you're going the wrong way or we should be going here this makes sense and it's like you as the driver you have like you actually have the steering wheel in your hands <laughs> and you have your sense of things that guide you, not that passenger in the back seat. <clears throat> and it's like, it's like, let's just say it's like a toddler at that. <laughs> and it doesn't even know how to drive. That is the mind. Um, the mind is here to look out the window, take in the scenery, play with the information, um, formulate theories. And it can be really helpful in that way as long as it's not driving. And, you know, so when we're making big changes in our lives to align with, you know, soul purpose, soul driving, um, body wisdom, um, there are times we have to walk through this fire with the mind as it's just like screaming at us that we're going the wrong way. And just like with a toddler throwing a tantrum, you have to just be like, okay, you're freaking out, but this is the way that we're going. So that, you know, that's one way, but then there's also coyote medicine, um, which is a really cool way that you can invite your, your spirit to meddle a little bit, to trick your mind into thinking that it's, it's got it. And then by the time that the lesson sets in, it's like the mind's just surprised. It's like, whoa, oh my gosh, that worked. I didn't even think that was going to work, but wow, it worked. And it starts to relax and enjoy the ride. So, um, yeah, I'm just... I'm just loving collecting these kinds of stories, and that was a super powerful one for me. Um, I've witnessed it with clients, and um, it's just, it's so amazing. So if you have any stories like that of your body and your soul, um, you know, driving while the mind had no idea what was going on, I would love to hear it. They're, um, they're pretty cool, and we can all, you know, validate who we really are um, and, and rise up together. So... Um, that's the thought. I love you so much. And um, as always, if you're um, feeling a connection with me, and like there, perhaps there's something that I could um, assist you with um, in any of these realms of around becoming who you are, soul purpose, walking through the fires of illusion, um, finding your own unique flow. That's what I do. I'm an expert in that. And um, and my door is open, so um, we can we can talk and see if perhaps we are a good fit. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, hi, Cad Ben. <laughs> Cad Ben um, just gave me a session today. He's an amazing healer, um, an energy worker, 
and gave me a really good tune-up. So, um, thank you. I love you too, Estrella. <laughs> um, and Cad Ben, I have something really interesting to tell you. Uh, I know we'll talk. Okay, bye everyone.